move on a little bit uh, because I'm just sure. noticing the time and I don't want to keep you. Um, That's all right. So the, uh, I, would, I was wondering if you could give us a few tips on closing now. Um, uh, how do you do a, a, a good closing? A good closing? Yeah. Well, you see, if you've got all your documents organized, they also, and you've referred to all your documents in the witness stand, they also just give you the outline for your closing, right? So what I think probably the most important point for self-represented litigants mm -hmm. is put your documents in the order in which you want to tell the story, mm -hmm. right? It sounds so intuitive, but not everyone does it, that. It, it's difficult to remember to do. Oh. I've, seen, I've seen lawyers forget to do it. How, you know, yeah, it's difficult to remember to do. You get so wound up in knowing what the story is that you don't necessarily think about the things that underpin the story, right? The things that, that make the story work. <laughs> so, yes, if you have those, again, if you've got your package of documents, you just go through them. Say, well, judge, I showed you the contract. I showed you the quote for the roof. I showed you the contract for the roof. Yes. I showed you the check I used to pay for the roof. Right. Then I showed you a picture of the leak in the dining room. And I showed you the plumber's bill for him saying, that's not a pipe, that's the roof. <laughs> right? Yeah. And it just, it flows right along. It makes it very easy to do. Most times, the best way to do it is to put them in a binder, a three-ring binder, right? Put your copy in a three-ring binder, their copy. Then you just work your way through them. I think I think people think that sometimes there's supposed to be more drama to it. Yeah. Yeah. No, there isn't. No. <laughs> there's, okay. The best ones aren't dramatic at all. Um, I've had people, as I say, I've had self-represented litigants who were who were outstanding at this. Maybe I mean one. I think one gentleman was an engineer, which sort of explains it. Uh, organized thinker, you know. Right. Um, another lady. I. She was just an ordinary like just a person who came in and her case was beautifully organized. And I thought, you must have a really good lawyer as a friend. I don't <laughs> who said to you, put this here, put that there, put, the, you know, yeah. But so, it's sort of like a, sort of like a jigsaw puzzle. Take the pieces of your jigsaw puzzle and put them in the order they should be in, right? I think as a lay person, we're always worried that, uh, oh my God, oh my God, I didn't go to law school. Um, yeah. And that, that really scares a lot of people about going to court. Yeah. And so you were telling me, actually, if you're very well organized, yeah. I'm telling you a story that actually is um, more than halfway there in, in getting yeah. the case presented. You can, you can use simple language. Right. Don't, you don't need to use legalese. You don't need to use fancy language. You don't need to use big words. You don't need to use long sentences. Right. And in fact, I don't use many of them either. Yeah. <laughs> because there's no point if you're trying to communicate, right? So just tell me your tale. And we have, we have a lot of people, um, a lot of litigants for whom English might be their third or fourth or more language. Right, right. So we'll understand you if you're speaking simply, right? Now, what about lawyers? Um, if you're a lawyer or paralegal, uh, yep. representing a client, uh, do you save your legal arguments to this stage of the trial? Uh, is, is this where you apply yes. the, the law to the facts in the closing? Yes. Okay. And yes, you would. And you would basically uh, set out why the evidence supports the facts that you okay. are putting forward. Right. Um, and then you would say, and the law supports my case yes. with this, this, and this, right? Right. Once, okay. once this roof is on, it's supposed to work the way a roof should work, mm -hmm. and that's the sale of goods act. And here's the sale of goods act. Right? right. So you would, you would, yes, you would put your cases in there. In terms of, um, I know at least, well, probably more than one case, but I can remember at least one case where I said to people who were not represented. Mm -hmm. um, I, you've given me great information on the facts of your case, but it raises a really important or interesting legal issue. Right? I, I expect to ask you to know the legal issue, so I'm going to go look at it now. Yeah. <laughs> Come back after lunch. 
<laughs> right. Yeah.